Oh my god! Welcome back guys, welcome to my Disney channel. And today we're gonna to be dividing complex numbers. We're gonna use the conjugate rule, so we're gonna get ahead started on number one. So for the conjugate of two minus three i, we're just gonna use the opposite, and we're gonna multiply that by both sides. So that's gonna be two plus three i on both sides. So from here, we're gonna distribute everything that we have available. So that's gonna be 14 plus 21i plus 8i plus 12i squared. And we're gonna do that all over the denominator here. So that's gonna be four minus nine i squared. And i squared is gonna be equal to negative one. So we're gonna multiply that. Negative one here and negative one here. So let's rewrite that. That's gonna be 14 plus 21i plus eight i minus 12 all over four plus nine. And with that, we're gonna combine all the like terms so we can simplify this equation. So 14 minus 12 is gonna be two, and then 21i plus eight i is gonna equal 29i, and then that's gonna be all over 13. So we're gonna break this apart, it's gonna be two over 13 plus 29 over 13i. And that's going to be the final answer for the first equation. Welcome back to part two, guys. Let's get started. So the next equation is going to be 8 over 3 plus 2i. So we're going to use the conjugate again, but this time it's going to be subtraction. So it's going to be 3 minus 2i. And that's going to be on both sides here. So then again, we're going to distribute like we did before. So that's going to be 8 times 3, which is 24. And then 8 times negative 2i, which is negative 16i. And that's going to be all over the denominator here. So 3 times 3 is 9. And 2i multiplied by negative 2i is negative 4i squared. And again, the i squared equals negative 1. So we're going to multiply that. And then we're going to rewrite it. So 24 minus 16i over 9 plus 4. So again, we're going to break it apart and simplify it. We're going to combine like terms down here as well. So that's going to be 24 minus 16i over 13. And once we break that apart, that's going to be 24 over 13 subtracted by 16 over 13. I, and that's going to be your final answer for the second equation. 